Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be talking the best practices when it comes to your course titles or descriptions. It's a really important subject, I've got some great insights, I will be back in a few moments folks. I'm coming back, in this quick video I'm going to be discussing course titles, um, course descriptions. Um, I've written a great post on this as well. you find uh, a description and link in the video notes underneath this video. Just go there if you want to really read some more extra materials. I've outlined it all there. So let's go straight into the meat and potatoes of this subject. And it's an important one. Um, number one, I see a lot of really poor written titles and course descriptions. It's one of the main things that you're going to use people are going to look up when they come to your website and they're making the decision that are they going to purchase one of your courses. And a lot of people in um, e-learning, building a, their first course for their membership site, I haven't got a lot of prior experience about how to write titles and descriptions. And what do I mean by that? Is it's got to induce purchase. That's what I mean. It, you've got to put yourself into the mindset of the students that are going to be interested in buying your course. And I'll give you a little tip here. Um, it's linked to some of my other previous videos when I was saying what subjects you should choose to do your first course in and how you do your your initial research. And that's going to forums, Facebook groups, Slack groups, um, looking at previous people that have done videos on YouTube, looking at the comments, looking writing notes down about questions asked, um, problems stated in Facebook groups, in the comments of competitor free videos, writing it all down and then really studying what are people, are there patterns that you can see and then writing down the language that they utilise. Is there any commonality in the language used? And you want to write some consistent notes about this and then in a journal or on on your computer and in, when you're writing your descriptions about specific lessons in your first course you want to utilize the language that you observed people users are utilizing and utilize that same language you'll find that it will resonate with your target audience much better if you do that that's tip one Tip two, um, the SaaS community, the bootstrap SaaS community, especially around e-commerce, um, there's a lot of YouTube um, videos, there's a lot of general information about writing good descriptions for e-commerce websites. Its relevance is very similar to membership sites, but there's a lot more free information out there around e-commerce and the best practices when it comes to product um, titles and descriptions. You want to do a bit of a dive in and learn the best practices um, about that. Um, it's going to give you a lot of insights about writing good titles and good um descriptions the other thing is the other tip tip three is you've got to do a bit of seo research because google is going to index your public pages your course if you've got more than one course you're going to have a centralized course page which is going to be one of the main areas that people are going to read the title of the of the courses and the descriptions and you're going to offer they'll be able to see a list of the lessons connected to each course and the lesson titles and the brief description of each life lesson that's all going to be indexable by google and you've got to um it's a spending a bit of time 
utilizing some free to SEO tools and doing a little bit of a dive about how you optimize your lesson course lesson titles and descriptions so they are more SEO friendly um, but there's a duality here not they can't be just purely SEO optimized they also got to be optimized to your target student students so there there's a bit of a balance here but keep that in mind so i've outlined about three tips there and three areas that you've got to really concentrate on and like i say i've written a great article you'll find the link in the supporting notes of this video gone into a lot more detail there i, I want you to keep this video short and to the point if you found it useful please leave some comments i love the comments and if you're feeling generous really subscribe to the channel because it is really what google looks for when um it's it's showing these videos to other people so please subscribe it really encourages me to make more of these videos i'll see you soon folks bye